you well new on AM Extra now. A new exhibit is taking flight at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, which you are taking a live look at right now out in McMinnville. The state-of-the-art facility now home to the Venom, a British post-war single-engine jet. Oh, it just sounds cool. Right? Joining us in the studio to talk all about the new exhibit and an upcoming air show watch party you won't want to miss is Tyson Weinert, President and CEO of Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, good morning. Lots Glad of, you're here. Yeah, lots of cool stuff happening at the museum right now. So for anyone who's unfamiliar, if, if you haven't had a chance to go visit, what are you doing? But tell us a little <laughs> bit about the space. Sure. Uh, so we have a, a new mission and we like to think of ourselves as a force of curiosity and courage uh, so that kids of all ages can have the confidence to take flight. And so whatever it is you're going to do in life, we, li we like to think of that cognitive triangle of are you curious enough to, to go explore something? Do you have the courage to go try it? And if so, does that build confidence to then advance whatever it is you're doing? Oh, that's so cool. uh, and so with that new mission statement, uh, we like to think that everything, not only do our exhibits uh, embody that, but also the featuring the people behind those exhibits, because mm -hmm. there's so many amazing stories to tell. And we're excited to share that with our community and soon to be a global community. That's awesome. Well, tell us about the new Venom Jet. You talk about uh, being curious. I'm curious about this guy. Uh, pretty cool exhibit that you have on display now. It's a super cool exhibit. And of course, I have a bit of a bias towards uh, airplanes that have wood <laughs> as part of their construction because, of course, the right. museum is home to the Spruce Goose, uh, the SR-71, uh, and so many other amazing exhibits. Uh, but this one in particular, the, the Venom. So, so the Venom, in fact, this week, we're celebrating the 74th anniversary uh, of its first flight, which took place September 2nd. 1949. Wow. Uh, now this was this was uh, designed and commissioned by the the Royal Air Force, uh, and I had the, the great fortune of being a exchange pilot with the Royal Air Force uh, for a few years. Oh my and gosh. So again, my my bias towards any airplane that has a bit of wood within it, um, <laughs> and then serving the Royal Air Force is certainly fun. Um, now the the aircraft itself uh, was in service for nearly three decades, uh, not only within the Royal Air Force but also supported a number of other. Uh, countries who license the, the design. It's an incredible design, twin boom design, and, and while the aircraft is very capable, or was very capable as a fighter bomber, uh, to me it really resonates because of the people that made this aircraft uh, come together, in hmm. particular when it was delivered to our museum. Hmm. So you can imagine there was a, a flatbed truck uh, with, with really busted up parts and bits of metal and, and, and what was really the center of the fuselage was this um, really broken up bits of wood, uh, barely resembled a, a barrel, if you will. Interesting. Um, and because of the incredible dedication of our volunteers and our restoration team, they were able to put this back together in such a meaningful display. So, so while we celebrate the aircraft itself, there really is a recognition of the dedication, uh, the fortitude and the grit of all of those people that committed hours and hours and hours of volunteer time over about a two and a half year period wow. uh, to make it this special exhibit that we have today. That's so neat. It's I mean, really cool. When you walk around the uh, Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum and, and you see, not only is it such a cool look at uh, space travel, air travel, throughout all different time periods around the globe, but you do you learn so much about the what was happening at that point in time when, right. when all of this aircraft was being used so uh, such a such a neat experience and you're going to be the perfect place to host a really fun watch party for the McMinnville air show that's coming up so tell us about that that's exactly right we are so excited to be able to uh, provide what we think is not only a unique venue but really a special vantage point of yeah. course the blue angels are featured this year for the air show that's taking place on September 29th September 30th uh, and then October 1st. And so uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed for good weather, certainly. Uh -huh. We'll um, put a good word in with Kelly. There. That's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> any, any extra strings you can pull there. Uh -huh. uh, but the idea that we have this air show watch party, we think it's going to be incredible value for people to come and enjoy our, our campus. Uh, for, so our, air, our aviation museum is going to be open, our space museum is going to be open, all kinds of uh, family-friendly, fun activities taking place. Our passes themselves include uh, opportunities for, for five members. Uh, to, to, uh, it's a bit of a green initiative, so, so carpool, fill up those cars, come on in, enjoy us, and have a good time. I think it's awesome. Well, there, there's always something to do out there. I remember I grew up in, out in Yamhill County, grew up out in the Dundee-Newburgh area, and I remember when 
It was first being built, the, the museum, and it was mm. just the Spruce Goose, which is already cool enough. Mm -hmm. And then just piece by piece, every time I go, I feel like there's a new building. Uh, I mean, down to the water park even. So there's always something to do That's right. at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. It's been great to talk to you, Tyson. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. It's right. a pleasure. Absolutely. And again, to get tickets and learn more about the exhibit and that upcoming air show watch party, go to evergreenmuseum.org. Always something cool to go check out. Absolutely.